favorite to, nerd. You can take to protect yourself. <laughs> you know, I always worry about this because your devices, they get so hot. Yes. You know, your laptop, it's, you know, I start to feel the heat on my legs right there. Yeah. And I'm like, what, what if it were to explode? And then you show me this. Yeah. And, you know, obviously laptops, if, if they're hot enough, they, yeah. they call them laptops. They're not really anymore. They're really notebooks. Yes. But, but when you put them on your lap, I mean, it can also mess with your reproductive stuff. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I was I was sitting on the couch next yeah. to my wife while I was working on the stuff for today, mm -hmm. and I was like, I was like, this is really hot. Yeah. What if this thing exploded? It right. would be pretty terrible. Okay, yes. so let's talk about when tech attacks. So, this poor guy, this is Devin James. Uh -huh. oh, we'll let it load here in a second. Devin James sitting on the couch playing some video games, just having a great time, and then all of a sudden his Dell laptop does that. Oh my God! Oh, He's gonna die. Now. Well. This is kind of interesting because that's the part that all the new shows are watching. But watch this. He eventually blows it out and he ends up taking it outside, sticking it on his patio because that's just smart. Right, right. right. And boom, and, and it blow, explodes. It and then he's, he, you know, while it's on fire, he goes into the house and this takes about three minutes or so. And then he can, it explodes again. But this is the best part. This is the best part. He comes in here with a fire extinguisher. Uh -huh. Come on, Devin. Come on out. It's okay. Let's, let's get it cleaned up. Clean that up. Here he goes. <laughs> this is the best part. He's like, oh, good, I'm safe. That's cool. Boom! Oh, oh my God. Yeah, isn't Yikes. that terrible? So poor Devin James here, he's got a Dell laptop, four years old, starts using it, charging it on his couch, and it exploded on him. Uh -huh. Dell is saying that it's possible that it was a third-party battery, like a replacement battery. Right. But the James family is saying, no, that was an original battery. Okay. So let's talk about lithium-ion batteries. They're kind of weird because essentially there's a, there's a positive charge and a negative charge mm -hmm. and a really thin layer of plastic between those two pieces. Okay. If that breaks and ruptures, it can explode yes. or catch fire. So lithium ion batteries are pretty prevalent. You remember the hoverboard? Yeah, so yeah. There was recently a death right. of a hoverboard the other day where one of them exploded. You might remember the Note 7, mm -hmm. or you might remember it looks more like this, really. Yes, yes, <laughs> and even banned on air, from airplanes. Yeah. yeah, but millions of <laughs> electronics, laptops, tablets, phones, all use lithium-ion batteries. And the reason we use them is they're lighter, they're cheaper, they okay. hold a charge better, you can let them sit in your house and, and, and uh, uh, charge overnight without much worry. Uh -huh. And the chance of fire or destruction is pretty low, but it is a possibility. Yeah. So here's some ways that you can protect yourself. Okay. Don't put your laptop on your couch oh. and just let it sit there right. because it gets hot on the couch and it covers those vents and it can explode or get too hot. Uh, Steve, I'm going to need you to take that <laughs> laptop <laughs> off the couch right now where I left it. Yes. <laughs> Don't oh put it God. on your bed, like just sitting on your yeah. bed with your, because there are literally pictures of people with burned beds. And you, watch this. This poor lady, she's going to die because look, she's got it on her covers yeah. and everything is covered and all that stuff. And she doesn't know what's happening. So she's, yeah, let's not do that. So also don't buy cheap third-party batteries. You go to Amazon, you're like, oh, I yeah. need to get a new laptop battery, and you buy just the cheapest one there. Don't do it because they're going to be junk. Uh -huh. And then, of course, if you drop your phone, check your battery because not everybody does. They're like, oh, my screen's broken. Yeah. But sometimes there's that little bowing on the back, you know, if, you, yeah. if, you're, if, you're, if your back of the phone's coming up. That means the battery's unstable and you need to get rid of it. Also, don't overcharge your batteries. Oh. That's part of the problem with the yes. iPhone, or I'm sorry, the Galaxy 7 is they were getting overcharged. And then they would explode and catch fire. Right. Well, because we're always worried. Oh my gosh, my phone is going to die. I need to make sure that it's charging whenever yeah. I'm near a plug. Yeah. Exactly. And the new thing is quick charging. Right. Yeah. They're putting all that technology in. The new iPhone 8 is likely to have something like that. So just be careful, everybody. Oh, okay. Keep it off your lap. Keep it off your couch. You know what? Just uh, get an ice bath. Sit in there. And... No, 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 no. No, that's not good either. <laughs> right. I, I always say these devices. You can't live with them. You can't live without them. I mean, you know. That is absolutely true. All right. Good advice. Thanks so much, Ryan. We'll see you in the next hour. Yes. Back over to you. Let's go check in with Tina. Get a look at your roadways this morning. Hey, T.